I'm going to show you how to create a really simple ganache. I'm using fresh cream of about 35% fat. We must boil and pasteurize the cream before we actually pour it over the chocolate. So I'm going to scrape all the cream in. Ganache is an emulsion between liquid and chocolate. So it can be cream, milk, fruit juice, it can be caramel, all mixed together with the chocolate. The trick is to mix it really, really thoroughly so we get really small particles, so we get a silky smooth texture on the palate. We're going to add some glucose in, which will add some elasticity. Glucose is derived from wheat. You can also use corn syrup, a light corn syrup, if you can't get the glucose. There is no gluten in there, so this is completely gluten free. And we're going to boil that together with the cream. Once it's come to a complete boil, I'm going to pour it over our chocolate. If you're not using chocolate buttons and you're using a block, make sure you finely chop it and place it in the bowl before we boil the cream. Now we're going to really thoroughly mix this, or you can use a hand blender if you want to, to ensure all the chocolate's melted and completely mixed in. Once that's mixed together, you can see it's beautiful and glossy, which is exactly what we're looking for in a ganache. We're going to add in some unsalted butter next. We're going to let it cool a little bit. Butter helps to fix the taste and gives us the most beautiful texture and mouthfeel in the ganache. Our ganache has cooled down, so we're going to add the butter in. It doesn't need to cool down to room temperature. Just let the temperature drop a little bit before adding the butter in. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. If your butter is cold and straight from the fridge, add it into your ganache immediately after the chocolate has melted. Now I'm going to mix that in. We always use a whisk with ganache or a hand blender or a stick blender we call it. So we thoroughly mix that until all the butter has completely melted. Our butter is mixed in. I'm going to clean down the edges and put some plastic wrap on the ganache so it touches the surface to avoid it getting a skin and stop the evaporation of some of that moisture. So just cleaning down the edges. Plastic wrap directly onto the surface. Ganaches can be used immediately. It really depends what you're using it for or some of them may need to sit for a little while to cool down before piping them into a chocolate mold or by layering it onto a cake. It depends on the application as to whether you'd use it immediately or let it sit. This particular ganache will firm up quite a bit overnight, so it really depends on your application. And that's a really easy way of creating a ganache.